Hey everybody, today I'm here with the DIY flag shorts and with the 4th of July right around the corner, what better time than to do it now? So this is going to be a really simple and easy DIY. I'm going to do it with an actual um, bandana. This I got at our uh, fabric store for 65 cents, so it's not an actual flag flag, so I'm not going to feel as bad cutting it up, but it is a bandana. So that's the first thing you're going to need is just a flag. If you can't find a big bandana, you can go ahead and just buy those flags that they sell at any craft store anywhere right now actually because since the 4th of July is in a few days. Then you're going to need a pair of shorts, denim shorts. Um, you could do linen and cotton shorts if you wanted to, but I like the denim look because the back is blue. You're then going to need uh, just some pins um, and then some thread because I'm going to be sewing this on by hand. We actually did um, a kind of test run of it and I tried sewing it on with our sewing machine but the lines weren't perfectly straight and they were kind of jagged and it was really kind of hard to get around the corners and the little um, like the side right here and make it look really really clean so instead I decided to go ahead and do it by hand. And then the last thing you're going to need is fabric glue and this is permanent so if you don't want to sew it by hand you can just go ahead and glue it on with this and it'll stay. So we're going to jump right into it. So what we're going to do is take our flag bandana and see it is big enough for all of this. And the first step is we're going to do this side first because on this side we're actually going to cut out around this part to leave kind of like uh, the denim space in between. So what we're going to do is just lay it out, see where it's going to meet, and then go ahead and take your scissors, and I think we're just going to cut out the entire flat, or striped part of it. Make sure that you go all the way to the inseam. You don't just kind of want to do it like this, like how we did the first time and we left the inseam. You want to make sure that it's going to cover the entire inseam. Now what we're going to do is actually take some fabric glue and glue this on to hold it into place. Okay, so now that we've glued it down and we let it dry for a few minutes, we're gonna go ahead and cut it. And so for this, you wanna make sure you have some pretty sharp scissors. You don't wanna use doll scissors. And you just wanna be extremely, extremely careful. So we're gonna start off at the bottom. And for this one, I'm just gonna follow the line right here and go ahead and cut it. And for the pocket now, I'm just gonna cut a little bit of it off just to have enough so that I can roll it under and glue that down. So just take a little bit more glue, go ahead and put it on the inside here. And just glue it down. Okay, so for the edging, I just went ahead and cut it and flipped it under and just added a little bit more glue and just pressed it down so that it looks kind of like a more clean edge. And I'm gonna do the exact same with this side. So when you do cut it, just make sure that you leave a little bit more just to be folded under. Okay, so now that we have one side finished, it looks really clean. And the great thing about fabric glue, glue is that it is actually permanent. So you are gonna be able to wash these. And I decided I'm not gonna go ahead and do a stitch. You can if you'd like, just to make it look a little bit more rugged and a little more, more unique. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the other side. And if you like, you can keep it the American flag this way. But I've also seen people do the flag stripes this way, which I'm kind of debating on what I want to do right now. I'm not really sure. All right guys, so here is the finished product. Next up, we're going to show you three ways to style this for the 4th of July weekend. 